Hi, Grey Wolf here again. I just wanted to show you our beautiful crystal room. It keeps expanding all the time. We just keep growing and growing and growing thanks to our customer base. What happens essentially is our customers tell us what they want and we try our best to get it. It doesn't always work out that way because we have limited space here, but as most people know, we are growing all the time. Soon we're going to be uh, next door and then uh, in another month or so we're going to be at the end of the little shopping center here too. I did want to talk to you a little bit about the intention crystal again. First I have to open the vault and I have to say hello to our goddess. As you know we uh, put our crystals in here, charge them and cleanse them and we have these made specifically for us because a lot of people carry crystals that are sharp. These are very nice. They have a nice easily handled piece of crystal. It fits in the palm of your hand. Very, very nice. And what happens is um, I did want to mention that we have a lot of people that come in the store and what they do is they're constantly passing their hands over the top of the crystals. And as they pass over their hands over the top of the crystal, they tell us they're looking for the energy, they're looking for the power, and they're looking for the heat from the crystal. Well, energy is one thing, power is another thing, and heat is another thing too. Now what happens is when they pass their hand over the crystals, the crystals in the stone are not really heating up. If they put it in their hand, you're going to pick up the warmth from your hand and you're going to make the crystals or stone a little bit warmer. But actually what's happening is the crystal itself has gone through a totally indifferent environment in order to get into that piece of crystal that you have in your hand. Our earth is in a st constant state of recreating itself and as it turns itself over from oh, long-term things like continents in motion or volcanic eruptions, rocks and minerals and things are all spilled together. And what happens then is it gets very, very hot, it gets under pressure and just like the geos that we have over here. The geo forms, this one is polished on the time, it's really, really nice. And the geoforms, and then on the inside of it, due to minerals, water, and things mushing around on the inside of there, it creates crystals. The crystals actually grow. But the turmoil that crystal has gone through to become a crystal has been heat, has been volcanic eruptions, possibly continents in motion, all kinds of turmoil. So when a person picks up a piece of crystal, they're not picking up a piece of heat. They're not pick, picking up a piece of anger or frustration. They're picking up a calming element because the calming element that this crystal has gone through in order to get into your hand has been absolutely horrendous. And today, it's meant to be your crystal intention calming element. Now what happens with, with things like heat, for instance, that's coming from the sun. The sun originally was a group of uh, hydrogen in outer space that kind of came together and as it compressed more and more and more and more and more, it got superheated and it created fission. And the fission, as it started creating the fission, what it did was the hydrogen started to create helium. And so when we receive the heat from the sun, what we are receiving is energy from the sun in the form of heat, thermal heat, and then the earth uses that heat in order to send it back into outer space as entropy. Entropy is where something is hot and it is cooled off later. You cannot go the different direction. I believe that's the second law of thermodynamics, that it can only go one way. If you light a match and you burn a candle, you cannot take that candle after you blow it out and recreate the, the fire once again. If you're going to have, let's say, wood at the side of your cabin during the winter time, and you're going to use that wood to have a nice fire during the winter time and keep you nice and warm. As it sits out there, it's very, very, very slow entropy. It is starting to rot. And over a period of time, maybe a thousand years, who knows, it's going to turn back into dust. Slow entropy. And as you take, and you, you take that same wood and you put it into your fireplace, what happens is you have thermal heat high entropy, just like we have fires and flames, high energy, high entropy. And then what happens is you take that dust after you have burnt the fire and you put it together. You cannot recreate the energy from the thermal energy. You can only create the entropy, the cooling down. So it only goes one way. You know, a lot of people say that they have anger, frustration, uh, they don't know what to do about things. That's high energy. 
you see the greatest athletes in the world, what they're doing. They're exercising, they're running a marathon, they're playing different sports. They, like, soccer is very popular, football is very popular, depending on which country you're playing it in. And then what happens too is after a period of time, they have to cool down. So the anxiety, the frustration, the possibly millions of years that this crystal went through in order to get in your hand is essentially the entropy that cools you down. So when people use crystals, they don't use it to pump you up. They don't use it to create heat, anxiety, frustration, anger. No, they use it to cool it down, to take it away. So if a person is going to use a entropy, uh, a piece of intention crystal, in order to get themselves into that calm state where they can solve their problems, what they essentially do is they'll take it, they'll sit in a quiet place, first thing they have to do is clear their mind and think about the problem that they have. Let's say, for instance, you have problems with somebody at work. And you think about it. And you analyze it. And you sit there with your crystal. In the Native community, it's called a totem, a reminder, or a companion. Something that you can carry with you to remind you. So you're having problems with that person. Now there's always a way to work out of that problem. If you're going to be stuck there and you have to deal with it, you have to deal with it so that you don't have that anger and frustration. If you have so much anger and frustration, get the heck out of there. Move off to something else. It's not worth it. Because what happens is anger, frustration becomes heat, and heat is no good for your body because essentially it's going to burn you up. So the important thing is that you put your intention into something, you relax, you analyze it from a distance, and then what you do is you say, this is what I'm going to do. We have people that come into the store and they see our crystal room all the time and they talk about their indifferent intention. We had one man that came in. He uh, drives an hour to work in the morning, an hour to get home in the evening, and he was saying that he's angry all the time. When he gets to work, he's angry. When he comes home, he's angry. So what he did was he sat down with an intention crystal and he thought about it. And what he started doing was instead of going to bed at midnight, he started going to bed at 10.30. Pretty soon he started going to bed at 10 o'clock because after 10.30, 10 o'clock, what the heck is there on a television that's worth watching anyway? So what he found was he was getting up half an hour, 45 minutes earlier. He wasn't in any rush. He didn't hurry, anything like that. He got to work, he was much more happy. He came home, he was happy. He had time to spend with his wife and children, and he enjoyed it a whole lot better. What he did was, he put his intention into the crystal, and he said what he was going to do, and what he was going to do was he was going to take action about it. You know, like I've told you many times, it's a wonderful thing when you're calm, and you're quiet, and you're in a serene state. But that doesn't accomplish anything except keeping you in that serene state. Meditation is a very, very wonderful thing. But like sitting in a cave, there's nothing happening outside of the cave. Sometimes outside of the cave is the elephant. And in our world of our third dimensional reality that we call life, we have to deal with that third dimensional elephant that's outside sometimes. And that elephant can be something like somebody at work you're having trouble with or that anger that you're having and frustration when you're going to work in the morning and it takes you an hour or so much longer to do it. You know? So this is why we have the intention crystal and this is why we encourage people to have it too. Pretty soon we're going to have these available that people can buy these online and I think that you'll find it a very, very wonderful thing to have too. And uh, thank you very much for the courtesy of visiting us today and uh, I wish you only happiness. Thank you again. Travel well. Or we say, Woody Pomkani. Thank you.